Hey everyone, we are getting ready to go to Costa Rica. It is Thursday. We're leaving at, right after work tomorrow on Friday. We're actually going to St. Louis for the weekend, to a family event. Then we're flying to Costa Rica for 10 days. And then we're flying to New York and driving to Connecticut for another family event. So it is going to be a wild two weeks and I can't wait and just so good to get out of town. So we have a little bit of chaos going on. There is stuff all over the table in the guest bedroom here and clothes and suitcases and we have snorkel gear out and just making the final push to be ready to go. Very excited. We're leaving Seattle. It is super rainy. We're getting out of here for warmer climates. Uh, All right, here we are seated on the first leg. It's gloomy, gloomy out there. We're gonna take a look at the safety. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we are here in St. Louis. It is right out here. We both forgot our sunglasses and we are parked right on the river's edge, which is a little unusual, but apparently it's the place to park. So, and we're here at the arch. There is the arch. So we're gonna go tour around. I've been in it, but my cousin not. So uh, it's bigger than it looks. There's the observatory at the top. So we'll see you up there. All right, so we're here on the west side of the arch. This is where the entry is to the museum, and it is free. And you have to pay to get the tickets for the tram ride. So we're going to head into the museum and check it out. We're in car number three, and that is the door. There's Mike, looking cute. Yeah. Waiting to board. Yeah, ain't a tourist. His big touristy camera. Yeah. It's a little, a little hot box. Yeah. <laughs> You want to be chilly the night before, you know what I mean. No, if there's other people in here, it's going to get real crowded. Don't eat chilly the night before you come in here. Our doors are closing. Please keep all hands, feet, and personal objects inside. Once again, our doors are closing. Can't sit doors are closing. Oh. And up we go. Some of the mechanisms, so it's a little workshop. Well, there's where their spare parts are. Yeah, I like that. It's good to have spare parts. Here's the Great ins cables. Yeah, here's the inside of the arch. Oh, the arch is post tension. The, oh, those cables, the yeah. cables are, some of them might be structure for the arch. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Welcome to the top, oh. everyone. Welcome to the top. Please come out of your tram car, turn to the left, and come up the stairs. Stuff. Cars, right? 
<laughs> Did you find it? <laughs> We're down there somewhere. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> For everyone to come in to uh, my daughter's first birthday, it means a lot to us. And um, there was her cry. I didn't think oh. we were gonna get a speech. But I also want to make another one, one more special. Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy, you got it. You knew it, son. One special request that I want to do is that. Rachel, oh, God. <laughs> I love you very much. Oh, you mean a lot to me. Oh. Yeah, I want you to be part of my family forever. Wow. Oh. 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 Wow. Can you marry me? I know. So. Oh. I knew this was coming <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs> It was great to be in St. Louis for such a fun and memorable family event. Hey everybody, we just made it to Costa Rica. We are walking down the jetway and it looks gorgeous. It was a bumpy ride. There's our airplane. We're gonna go through customs and uh, go get our car. It's a little crazy. We just picked up our rental car. We're driving to downtown San Jose and it is kind of rush hour time, uh, four o'clock. So the bikes are zooming around. Mike Mike is doing a really good job driving so far. How you feeling? Feeling okay. All right. Navigation has been a little weird, but we're making it. We're on the main kind of freeway into into towards downtown and Driving then the Range Rover for oh, drive. So yeah, Land Rover. Land Rover. Yeah. It's a nice one. They made us wait and we just kept getting more and more free stuff the more we had to wait. So I'm trying out the diesel Land Rover. And yeah. it'll be up in the mountains. I guess we'll try it out up there too. Yes we will. That'll be interesting. The little scooters going between the traffic are freaking me out. They're okay. And it's what, 70, probably 75 out there? Yeah, it's probably 75 or maybe even 80. I don't think it's that warm out there now. It's like, yeah, it feels cooler than when we landed. Immigration took us two hours, I want to say. Yeah. They, their systems were down. And it was crazy. Oh, look at this. This makes me so nervous. At least they were in helmets. A lot of bikes. A lot of bikes. I see that everywhere. Cool trees. <laughs> that is crazy, all these chains, American chains, Pizza Hut. We've seen McDonald's and Pizza Hut and Denny's. And then we're getting sure, into... I haven't seen any KFC yet. Uh, That's right. Yeah, that is surprising. It is the most popular food chain in the world. Uh, we're getting into downtown and doing well so far. Your drivers are crazy. Buses are crazy. Oh there's so oh there's these green birds. Oh my god there's like parrots. It's like a whole flock of parrots. Yes. And you're like, oh my god, you know, look at all the birdies. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And they're in like a magnolia type tree. Okay that's crazy. I don't see any tourists here, so I'm thinking this is not the tourist part. Well, all these people walking around, you don't think they're tourists? No, I think they're locals commuting home. Okay, quick two miles, so um, like three blocks. 
and it's uh, Calle Tomas Guardia. Regular hotel. Ooh, nice place. There's Mike hooking up to the Wi-Fi. We have a little balcony kind of area, screened in porch, I would more call it. And we look out over the the pedestrian only avenue. Look right out over the KFC. Ooh, lucky us. food chains so man we have infiltrated the world apparently bustling this is the highway it doesn't look like it just a little one-lane road through the middle of town but very cute lots of palm trees and little places to hang out Looking old buildings, do you think? Oh, that's a bank that's machine. A bank? Yeah, ATM. We've gotten through Alajuela and we're headed into the mountains, up to the national park. And it definitely looks more country like. We're seeing some condo complexes, and some people selling fruits and veggies, and it's definitely gotten more rural. Well, Volcano Poaz is completely covered in clouds, so we didn't go. And also, we were almost to the end of the, the time when they were selling tickets. Ooh, excuse me. Plus, you have to buy tickets online, which we did not do in advance. So, take note. But they did have Wi-Fi there. We probably could have gotten a ticket, but it was not worth it to buy a ticket and then walk up and not see anything. So, we are headed down to get some lunch and then headed over to La Fortuna to stay at our... Uh, resort. I don't know if it's a resort. I think it is a resort for the night. It has a hot springs. So I'm excited about that. I'm go swimming. Bye. Down there was wow. <laughs> the road got a little wider for at least for a minute. Oh, except for the landslide. 
That's a fresh that landslide. Is. That's crazy. Oh man. Yikes. Out in the rainy, rainy cloud forest. Well, it sounds like it's raining really hard, but fairly well protected under the tree here. You can see what the water looks like here without falling in. Lots of cars. Busy little bridge. These bridges are no joke. Like one at a time, one way bridges. Just after my wayward husband for a minute. He's been dying to go into the jungle. Trail down to the river. It warned us about something, but I didn't understand the words. Oh, this is muddy. You feel like you're in the jungle? Yeah. Look how wild and natureful it is. I'm getting rained on. I'm gonna stand underneath a giant leaf. Well, now we're in an agricultural area, kind of on a back road. And there are fields of something. And fields of something. One of the fields was, had pineapples on it, but the rest didn't. I didn't see pineapple. That's not no, the not same there. Type, is it? Yeah, it's the same thing. The ones I saw pineapple. Oh, there they are. Those are those have pineapples on them. Oh, away, yeah, it's hard to see. Yeah. Drive up in there. Um, sure. <laughs> it's just a wall. I'm sure they don't have security or anything. Uh, they look uh, tractor going along. They might be harvesting. Yeah, it looks like they are. It's all. Mm -hmm. They're all being oh, yeah. pulled out. Just you doing that. <laughs> They're like crazy tourists. <laughs> um, I see an overpass, but I see this dirt road that's gone underneath it. Yeah, me too. That is not a good sign. Huh. We might be in trouble. Well, there's a way to go up to the next road and then back. So I think, worst case, we're on this. Like we're back on pavement. Okay, that's good. <laughs> there's a way to get to it. But it does not appear to have an on ramp, does it? crazy road. I don't know if there's a way onto this road that we need to be on. Um, I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Uh, there was an on-ramp and here we are going up it. That was a weird way to get there. We went down a few miles of dirt road but we're here. We made it and now we're on a more major highway. Uh, not a freeway exactly but something a little more major. People riding their bicycles down it. At least it has shoulders right here, at least. Guy using his cell phone while riding his bike, which is the second time I've seen that today. So, this is a dangerous country, people living on the edge. Just like at home. <laughs> yeah, worse, I think. <laughs> How green it is. Everything is green, green, green. We're cruising now. What are we doing? 80 kilometers? 80 kilometers. It feels like we're flying. So. I think you're right that this that is the fastest we probably will go. It is uh, almost five o'clock. We are we've been driving longer than Google Maps and our, our other map program said we should be. So we need to take that into account when we drive anywhere here in Costa Rica. And that three hour drive might actually be more like a four hour drive. Uh, but we're we're eight miles, oh well, six miles from our hotel, so we're getting there. Almost to La Fortuna. But it's still rather gloomy and it's still raining. Alright, we've made it to La Fortuna. It's a little nuts. Very busy. Um, it's raining a little bit. And right there. there's people everywhere. Yeah, it's a little it's a little hectic in here. There's a good looking bakery. It's a steakhouse. So kinds of, um, I don't know if we're gonna come back and check out this town or not. So I don't know if there's a lot we want to do here. So I eat here. Yeah, we come back to eat. I mean, really, 
I wanted to come go to the hot springs, so that's like my main motivation for coming here. I'd like to see the volcano, but if the, if the weather stays like this, we're not going to see the volcano, so that's okay. A lot of uh, nice looking restaurants, a lot of touristy places. Volcano Steakhouse. We bump. We are headed to Los Lagos Resort and Spa and gonna go get in the hot springs. Okay, can't see anything, but this is all about the noise. Very fragrant out here, too. Something over there is croaking like crazy. That's loud. So we saw the volcano, which was awesome. And Los Lagos was such a lovely place. There were so many different pools. Most of them hot spring pools, different temperatures, a swim up bar. We ate dinner in the restaurant and just saw all these animals that lots of iguanas and koi and just really, really relaxed. And it was such a nice, lovely respite from the busy, busy world and the busy, busy start to the trip in San Jose. And then the birds, the flowers, so tropical and lovely. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning of our trip. Uh, we've been in Costa Rica now since Monday. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Whew, losing track of time already. And we are at a little lookout uh, that our hotel has for Volcan Arenal, uh, Volcano Arenal. I don't think we're going into the park today. I think we're just going to head for the, the coast. We might stop at a waterfall or something on the way, but playing it by ear. So, uh, but here's the lookout. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot. I think the top of the mountain is in clouds. Oh, wow. Yeah, the top of the mountain is definitely in clouds. But this There's is pretty. Way down there. Oh, yeah, that's a little vertiginous. Oh, they've cleared all the vegetation for us. Very nice. I don't trust the railings around here. No, I'm not going to lean on the railing. I try not to ever lean on railings. <laughs> Habit from construction. Yeah, lots of, lots of uh, bamboo, too. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised to see the bamboo. I think, I, mean, I don't know if it's native or it just got imported and then just grows everywhere. We saw a toucan this morning at the swimming pool. We saw two toucans and we saw a ton of iguanas. This is cute. They probably bring tour groups up here and make them sit. Hello, buddy. Uh, oh, that one has little rings on his tail. part of today's journey is about two hours. I think the worst of it is along the lake here for like an hour. I cut it down in half an hour. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, what a cute little town. Around the lake. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, one lane bridge. Um, let's see, I think the yield. Oh yeah, they have the hills again. Huh. 
So we just left Liberia and uh, grabbed a bite to eat at McDonald's. And now we're headed towards Playa del Coco. And there's a fire. And there was a fire. It was a small one, but still. Uh, I see the hand, there's an ambulance behind us. Oh, very dry out here. Where is he going? I don't know. Oh, past us. I think we need to pull over for him. Hmm. Well, this has gotten exciting here. There's another fire down here. Oh. I saw some what looked like fires from up on the hills. It looked like things were on fire down here, so it's very dry. I know it's the we're kinda of at the tail end of the dry season, so it probably hasn't rained much in the last few months. These people are polite enough to they pull over, they go back in the same order. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Had a bit of a change of scenery again. We're in more trees, but it's still very dry and brown. And we are here at El Coco, and I don't see the beach yet. I'm assuming it's up here. And there's Nikki Speak Milk, and it's very touristy, <laughs> but that's okay. Mega uh, supermarket. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's good to know. Supermarket. Mega super. Yeah. It must be super. Oh, look at that big resort. Yeah. Resorts and lots of Americans walking around. Oh, big bump. Bump. That we don't see until we get there. And then this is the main drag. Down to the ocean. Um, so I say just keep driving until you can't anymore and then we'll kind of circle back to where our condo is. Oh, this is a lot of, a lot of restaurants. Oh, there's a lot of people here. A lot of people. This is a bustling little resort town here. Hopefully we have a parking Tourist spot. Tourist town. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, there's a, like a home improvement store. It's weird. Casino. Restaurants. Our dive shop is over here somewhere too. Might have, we might have passed it already. I didn't see it, but it was on that main drag. And we're about to hit the water. And there will be a road to the No I Paso, so I guess you can't go that way anymore. That's right. It's straight, so you have to go right. You have to go right? Yeah. Oh, it's one way. It's one way, yeah. Well, this is crazy. This is very busy. Probably a little easier to navigate on foot. Is our condos down here? No, it's back a little bit, but oh, I wanted... off the beach. Y yeah, like a block, oh. two blocks. Yeah. Oh, look how pretty it is. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. All right. Oh. oh, look at all these little beachfront restaurants. Oh man, look at all the boats. There's so many boats out there. That is crazy. Next time, Mike and I explore the beach in part two of our Costa Rica adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.